Hi, um, this is Christina, aka the Cherokee Gypsy, and this is part two of my Get Ready With Me video series. Um, I had to split the video in half just because it takes me forever to put my makeup on, and also people were calling my phone and texting, and if you're a YouTuber, then you know if somebody tries to call you or text you while you're doing a video it ends so I was really sad about that but oh well we'll just do a second part um so so far I have put on my glam glow uh Glam Glow Mega Illuminating Moisturizer Glow Starter in Nude Glow um I have used my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in shade 6.0 and I also mixed it with my MAC Cosmetics Strobe Cream. And while I was gone, before I did this again, uh, before I did part two, I'm actually using my, oh yeah, I used my e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, Concealer, Under Eye Concealer in Light Beige. And then now I'm using, I just set my under eyes with, um the let me put the top on real quick so I can turn it and show y'all the elf um, elf cosmetics HD uh, powder setting powder um, you can do it for all over your face but I use it to set my under eyes and this is a lot really similar to the Laura uh, Laura Mercier under eye setting powder um, as y'all can tell, it does a really, really good job. Um, I mean, it's good for wrinkles and creases. Usually I have a crease in my forehead, but this stuff, plus the foundation, I mean, it makes my skin look flawless. I just love it. And this is e.l.f. Cosmetics. I think this was, what, $6? $6 for this stuff. And it works wonders. It's awesome. So, um, now that I have set my under eyes, um, I'm going to put this, yeah, but by the way, this uh, e.l.f. setting powder was $6, um, instead of paying like $45 for the Laura Mercier uh, setting powder. Oh yeah, and the brush I used is the e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, powder brush. Um, you can use it for pretty much any kind of type of powder or however you want to use it, but um, the bristles are really, really soft. I love I love this brush. I think I paid a dollar for it, so it's a really good brush. Um, so now that I have set my eyes, now I think um, everybody's different how they do their, you know, how they do their um, makeup. But now, I think I'm going to do my blush, um, my blush and bronzer. First, I'm probably going to do my bronzer. Um, the bronzer I use, I really like this one right here, uh, the Estee Lauder. Um, Estee Lauder Signature Five-Tone Shimmer Powder for Eyes, Cheeks, and Face. Um, it's in the shade O2 Bronze Shimmer. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it's a mixture of colors for my uh, olive skin. So I really like this bronzer. Um, it's really, really good. Um, I'm trying to figure out. Um, I also like to use the Maybelline Master Contour, um, just in case, like I want to contour my face a little bit. As a matter of fact, I might just do that. Um, so, it's got the contour, blush, and highlight. Um, I'm not going to use all of them, but I'm going to take a little bit and contour my cheek. Going to contour like my... Uh, my jawline, you see the indention right here? This is where you contour. But everybody's different, so don't... So don't let me... Knock your hustle or nothing. 
or whatever you do with it. Um, then I'm just going to go in with my sponge and kind of blend it in so it just gives a more chiseled look. You see? Um, some people like theirs a lot more chiseled. Um, I just like a little subtle sub, chisel. I don't really like them super chiseled. Um, so now, you see that? It's cool. Um, it's really good. This is the, matter, matter of fact, this is the uh, Maybelline, uh, the Maybelline Face Studio Master Contour, if y'all are interested. Um, using the highlight, I like to use the highlight, you know, around my brow bone. Um, makes your eyes look wider, of course, you know, um. Also, they want you to highlight it over your contour, which I got better highlighters for that, you know. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my blush. Um, I'm actually really, really picky with my blush, so if y'all can give me just a second... I will. I've got a bag full of different stuff. I'm really picky on what blush I use. Um, just because. Okay. So, I know this is funny. This is the uh, Urban Decay blush sampler. I got it with my uh, with the Sephora purchase. But, I love this stuff. I use this pink color right here. It's called Quickie. Um, it's Urban Decay's blush. Um, I've been using this, and it's actually had a bunch of uses to it. Um, it's just on a piece of little piece of paper, but uh, I go in with my. This is the Elizabeth Arden uh, brush, and I just go in, and <laughs> I know y'all are thinking, look at how cheap she is. She's using the paper. But it works, so I just go in, rub it. Look at that. Oh, I just love this stuff. It is so smooth. It's a really good blush, y'all. I really, I mean, look at that. It, it just looks good on my skin tone. Um, I've been using this actually for a while. Isn't that funny that I'm using it off the paper? Oh, well, you get it how you live, right? Right. So next, I'm going to use, um, I'm not even sure, I think this is an e.l.f. brush, but it's went, It's not on the handle no more, but uh, this is the brush that I use to do my bronzer. I know you're supposed to do bronzer before blush, but I'm actually not going to put the bronzer where I put the blush. I'm going to put bronzer on my forehead, on my nose, on my chin. Underneath my eyes a little bit. Just to give it a, a shine. But I'm actually going to put some highlighter um, at the top whenever I'm done. Um, I'm actually going to... So I received this in my BoxyCharm. This is the... Vintage, hold on one second. Um, this is the Vintage by Jessica Labaskin, uh, the Vintage Cosmetics. Uh, this is the Illuminating Face Highlighter in Rose Gold. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. I, I just can't get enough. Um, so I'm going to apply, I'm going to apply this. Ooh, 
Oh my goodness, there's a lot of fallout in this, y'all. Um, not too fond of that, actually. Um, I didn't realize there was going to be that much fallout in it. Uh, wow. Well, if you like powdery highlighters, then I would suggest this. But if you don't like powdery highlighters, then I would not suggest this at all. Um, there is a lot of fallout of this product. It is $32. It's a $32 uh, illuminating face highlighter. I mean, it works really good, as y'all can tell. But the fallout is ridiculous. Wow. I wonder if I wet it. I wonder if I wet it. Like, put a, like a drop of oil in it or something and see if it works better. Um, so, ooh we on fleek. Um, it does have a really pretty finish. Um, I'm actually now going to use some more of my MAC strobing cream. And I'm going to dab some of this on the outside of my eye, around on my cheekbone. To make my highlighter on fleek, you know. Ooh, look at that. Looks great. This is my first time using MAC Cosmetics uh, strobing cream. So, I have to admit, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the product. It mimics, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Oh yeah. I'm going to take a little on my nose. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. Now, I'm going to go in with my Master Contour by Maybelline again, and I'm going to kind of outline my nose uh, where I didn't use the strobing cream. And I'm going to do this on the outside of where I did the strobe. I actually learned from a makeup artist on YouTube. Um to make like an exclamation point on your on your nose like with the highlighter you see that where you use the uh, contour color and it like makes your nose appear thinner like I really think that's cool um so Now, I'm going to take that and I'm going to blend it in. Oh, yeah. Woo-wee. And my under eyes set beautifully, too. I'm actually really proud of myself. Yay! Um... Like I said, this vintage highlighter right here, I got it in my BoxyCharm. Um, it was $32, but I'm going to tell you right now, it, it's in the shade Rose Gold, by the way. Um, it's got, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, it looks great on my face, but the fallout of the product, that's ridiculous. Um, I'm not impressed with that at all. So, ne whoops. <laughs> so, next... I'm going to do my eyes. So, I'm going to, uh, like I told y'all, I'm going to be using the 
I'm going to be using the Naked, um, the Urban Decay Naked uh, Smoky Palette, which is this palette right here. Um, it's where you can perfect the smoky eye. Um, I'm actually going to be using that, and I'm going to look at their little lookbook. And I'm wondering which one I want to do. The Iconic UD Smoky Eye, the Smoke Reality Star, um, the Smoky Cat, and the Everyday Smoky. Um, so, I'm thinking I want to do the Iconic UD Smoky Eye. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Um, using a blending brush, apply combust from the crease to the brow. So, I haven't even used this yet, y'all. So, I'm really excited to be using this. Um, my brush is still in the packaging. My Urban Decay brush is still in the packaging. It's got Urban Decay Naked Smoky. It is so pretty. Oh, my gosh. I love this brush. Look at it. It's like see-through. It's double-ended for your crease and all over. So, first, I'm going to... The only reason why I'm looking at this, I know how to apply eyeshadow. But the only reason why that I'm looking at this is so I can learn the different ways that, they, that they've that they got on here to get to master the, uh, the different smoky eyes. Um, I know how to do the smoky eye, of course, but I want to try Urban Decay's way out. So, using a blending brush, apply combust from the crease to the brow. So, let's find combust on here. From the crease to the brow. So, I'm applying combust from my crease in my eye, my natural crease in my eye to the brow got my eyebrow ring in the way ha ha <laughs> Okay. With the shadow brush, highlight the entire brow bone with 13, blending it well with combust. So now I'm going to highlight my brow bone with 13 on my brow bone, blending it well. Um, it's best to use your fingers when applying the base shadows, just so you don't have all these different uh, the base uh, on your brush so you can use the darker colors um, on your brow I mean on your in the crease and whatnot so I always use my finger when I'm applying the base color Lynn Well. I need to get my eyebrows threaded again. Okay. So now that I've done that, um, using perversion, line the entire lash line. It should be slightly thicker at the outer corner. Um, I don't have that eyeliner, so that's not going to work. Um, I don't want to put my eyeliner on first anyways. I like to put my eyeliner on last after I've gotten the look. So let's skip that. Apply smolder on the lid and crease, blending up and out. Okay, so let's do smolder. Thanks, 
turned out to be great mothers. Thank you. Then I'm John Bertram Short. I'm applying to be on Survivor because surviving is my middle name. Wait, did I already say my real middle name? It's a Survivor life in pieces. It's slam dunk. So get ready to outwit, outlast, and out. It's the best thing I've ever heard of. New life in pieces after a new mom. CBS tonight, 9, 8 central. To make room for new collections. Spread seven <laughs> Black is very difficult to blend really well. Um, so it takes a while to blend it in where it looks perfect. I actually should have gotten a pad and put it in my in the corners so the fallout, any of the fallout wouldn't have gotten everywhere. Hold on one second, y'all. Okay, sorry, I, my old man is like messaging me and I told him that I'm in the middle of a get ready with me video and it's like no, nobody cares, nobody cares that I'm trying to make my supporters happy by doing a, a get ready with me, like sheesh, just let me be for a little while so I can do this video for y'all. I love black on my eyes.
Sorry I'm not speaking. <laughs> I'm trying to concentrate applying this black shadow because if you don't apply it precisely it looks uneven and I don't want y'all to think that I don't know how to do my makeup so Ram, ba, ba, ba. 